Bowie Ryan is five years old. If all goes according to FDA and CDC plan, he'll be getting a COVID vaccine early next month. Mom has talked with him about it. We call it the sickness. It's the sickness and you're gonna have to get a poke uh, at some point, that's what he calls shots. You're gonna have to get a poke at some point, um, but that means that you're safe and protected and he's, uh, you know, he's more worried obviously about the, about the poke itself, but, um, but yes, we've been talking to them since the beginning. Them includes Harlow. She is three, not yet within the range of eligibility, but maybe soon. There is a buzz about all this in the medical community right now. On the call with the health departments, and you could sense a sort of excitement of like, we're ready to, to get this population. This is the population the health departments vaccinate. At Pediatric Associates of Mount Carmel, where a hundred grand worth of other vaccines are in frozen storage, calls have been coming in from families asking about getting the under 12 set vaccinated and set. Almost every visit, those kids' parents are asking, when is it gonna be available? Because they hear that it's coming. You know, this is a group that, that has not had access to the vaccine and, and many parents, many kids for many reasons. I think the biggest thing is to ensure that their kids are able to stay in school. Mom doesn't want her kids to have to wear masks in class for years to come, so she believes vaccination will take care of that. Halloween's almost here. Her youngest will be a skeleton. Bowie will go as the Hulk. Noon yesterday was the deadline for pediatric offices to order doses of the COVID vaccine for the 5 to 11 set. And with measles, chicken pox, and rubella shots routinely given, this is right up their alley. They say they are ready and confident that it is safe and effective. Reporting live, John London, WLWT News 5. Okay, John, side note, I think that may be the cutest skeleton and hawk I've ever seen. <laughs> but back to the serious business here. Because of this pandemic, you know, many people have put off other vaccinations and, and those health screenings. Do doctors think final approval for 5 to 11 will have any impact on that? They really don't know, but they hope so because they know that breast cancer screenings, colon cancer screenings, and children's vaccinations for other illnesses have been uh, delayed uh, for some time and are running behind. So their message is this is sort of the perfect opportunity to catch up if you're so inclined. All right, John London reporting live for us tonight. John, thank you.